Okay, going to skills. Sprinter is amazing, but you realistically only ever need one point in it. So skill points you only ever need one point in is sprinter, quick reflexes, stealth, lock picking, kickboxing. Um, you can put one point in quick shot. Um, if you're not going to use submachine gun, I wouldn't. If you're not going to use quick uh, submachine gun, go ahead and put more points in this. Like if you're using shotgun, pistol, it makes you shoot a lot faster and your reticle gets uh, smaller. So you hit uh, better crits and whatnot. Um, Headhunter seems to always be a skill that go, you should go to five. But this character I have is my melee character. So instead, you can't see it because I already hit the max on it, but uh, melee max. Another thing I was thinking about this is if you're doing melee, brute strength helps. You might only need one in it though. If you hit, it knocks them back further and it increases stun duration. So, <coughs> um, excuse me, the time that they're stunned increases. What I also hit, there's three types that you can do. Assassin is versus humans, which now that there's such a big PvP zone area, it can work and you can do that as well. Um, but Hunter is something if you're just constantly fighting bosses, which it was easier during the old section. Like I said, we're still learning this game and he's still adding more to it, so... I'm waiting to see outdoor bosses, but if there's like a Tendril or a Roid Hulk, you're not going to be able. You have to run into a. <laughs> you're going to run into a run into a building because you're not going to outrun it. Thick skin and immune. Those are actually once you get some more prestiges under your belt, like I believe this is the one that you should think about. Like if especially if you're going melee, if you get this like at a good decent amount, you'll never burn and you'll never bleed. And those are the things that are really going to kill you. I mean, like, the infection and the radiation, that sucks, but burns are how you die. So you'll get hit with a burner, you're burning, so you take double damage, and a bleeder does double damage. You get hit by both of those at the same time, you're almost an insta-kill. I've seen it happen many times. Happened to me a couple times, especially if you're fighting a boss. Yeah, you, you know, GG, buddy, you're done. Um, I would, if you're going, like, any kind of weapon... Pick what you want to use and, and go hard into it. Just go straight in. Like if, you, if you like pistols, max out pistols. You don't want to split, especially if you're still on your first level. Um, don't be like two in rifle, two in pistol expert. Because these are such value skills that, for instance, see, look at that. You get the headshot. You get body damage. You get aim speed. You get attack speed. You get the minimum reticle size and the maximum reticle size. When you're moving, it's smaller. And when you stay stationary and you let it fully uh, lock in, um, it gets to the smallest it can, so you always are on target for the most part. That's just one skill point, whereas otherwise you'll have, like, just headshot damage. Now, headshot damage shows for everything, but having a headshot damage and your main weapon is, is the way to go. Uh, trucker is something you never really should worry about, especially now with this, because, yeah, if, I, if anything, I think cars are pretty useless now. I think gas prices back in the regular one, because we thought that we'll be using our cars more, was much higher. But now, now that it's open world, yeah, trucker is pretty much a dead skill. Um, again, quick shot is okay. Um, marksman is good. I would recommend using marksman if you are a rifle user, because then you can take long range shots. And especially now in open world, I personally think marksman is great for uh, pistol. I put like one or two in pistol. And um, rifle, you can go as high as you want, you know, as much as you want, but that could be the last one. Survivor, uh, I, I never really mess with that. It's, it's okay, you know. Uh, medic is something you can think about if you are finding that you're getting hit a lot. So what you would do is then, like for instance, if you get this at one or two, I mean granted you can also get gear and, and stuff like that. A quick shot is good if you're going to use everything but submachine gun. If you're using a submachine gun, you don't need quick shot. Um, it'll help, but if you're using submachine gun, only go one or two max. Because if my main character, um, he has uh, he has max five, and his his fucking use of ammo is ridiculous. So I I feel that if I messed up, that was the one thing I messed up on. So if if I didn't have to do that, I would definitely change that. A lock pick. Everyone said it was good, but I put it in one on my main, and again, I kind of regret it. Stealth is okay. The number one thing you use stealth for, I'll show you on this character, is you get your, your rifle out, your pistol. Okay, you see your character? You're aiming, and then you can, you can nod your head. 
That's the best thing about stealth. No, I'm just kidding. So what you can do is you can switch over to your melee weapon. You kind of creep around. But the problem is, I wish this was... Now, let me say the word correctly. toggle a bull. I, I have a Twitch clip where I, I can't say that word. And I, I sound, you know, meh. But anyway, so... Yeah, you can do this. And you can slowly creep up. But then when you hit an enemy, that is surprise damage and if you see that right there it's 33.25 it's a lot of damage in comparison like my scorpion headshot damage is uh where is that three if you have any other stronger weapons like even this one the headshot damage is 4.5 not the greatest but if you need to put bullets down range i always carry uh um submachine guns next to my characters and yeah and without a doubt once you get 25 that's when melee really shines because then look how fast your your uh machete swings so things to keep about and not to mention some people don't do it they just get things such as like that so again everything i do it has um exp and the only things that can give you exp are gloves um your headgear and your weapons and as you can tell with me i have everything out of the exp so exp hunter Find a name, that would be what I would say. Uh, Sledgehammer is the slowest melee, and the uh, machete is the fastest. But those are some of the things I would recommend as far as uh, uh, skills. Think about what you want to do. Um, you can definitely mix and match, but as far as like basic, like standard ones, like I said, this is my, my build for my um, melee character. Oh, Jogger, you need at least three in Jogger if you're going to go that. If you're going Sprinter, you know, Sprinter is cool, but it has a very long cooldown. And Sprinter is good immediately, but it kind of, you know, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm recording it right now, so as a matter of fact, this will be a YouTube video. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I, I always, it, unless you're going Prestige 5, Fast Learner is a must. But then when you hit Prestige 4, and then you go to Prestige 5, do not go uh, Fast Learner anymore. Uh, reason being here, I'll show you. Hopefully I can get back into my lobby. Um, <clears throat> so this is my main. I haven't really touched this guy because uh, this is... He's maxed. Now, level 50 will be coming soon. But I believe he first he's going to first focus on getting this game. Well, now he's the first time that he is, so he's right outside Dalbo. This is interesting, because now he said that's what it was, but when we first loaded up in this game, we were in front of a house. We weren't in front of Dalbo. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So this guy, he has one in Kickboxer, five in Jogger, so he's fast. Reloader, five. I feel Reloader is always perfect, because it always ups your ammo capacity, and your reloading speed, and your walking speed. Walking speed is when you are reloading. So, <coughs> see, I shoot once, that's me reloading. Now, I shoot again, and then I'm reloading, and I can walk. So basically, if you're being chased by a zombie, you can get away from a zombie from hitting you. Um, but as you can see, look how fast he shoots. That shit... That was uh, six bullets right there. I just... I, I just eat bullets. I eat bullets for breakfast with this guy. Um, so if I did anything else, I would have changed having quick shot four. I would have gone maybe quick shot one. But yeah, submachine and expert five. Uh, Marksman 5, Headhunter 5, um, Lockpicking 1 because I was testing it, Medic, which I felt was really good, uh, Hunter, 2 and Hunter, but that was back, you know, when we were still kind of hunting bosses, not anymore now. Um, we're still working on it, but yeah, so that's kind of what I built, and as you can see, no fast learner on him, because then that's 5 of the skills points you can put in, which is why I kind of put too many in this character, but... Long story short, that's how I built my main character here, so... And even with him, without the EXP bonus, I still care about EXP, so even with nothing else, he's still plus 68 EXP. I know everyone else goes for headshot and whatnot, but again, I just... I, I love EXP, because then this is where I get right here, so I'm already almost at 50% of 100% bar, so I'm almost about to get um, another EXP... Or no, a rare enhancer as well as a uh, die. I don't think I have any right now. And then see, I always keep extra things like weapons with EXP and health. That's good. Uh, EXP, sprint speed, but yeah. And then just 
a crap ton of uh, certain items now. Yeah, see, all, all my gloves, plus 18%. My helmet, plus 18%. Uh, plus 15%. But then, this was actually a really good uh, weapon I got. It has both mutated damage and infected damage. And it has EXP. I mean, what, what else could I, what else can I, what else can a boy ask for? You know what I'm saying? Lanchester is pretty good. Less burn ability. Um, visibility range. There's different things. And that's the cool thing about this game is that if you are ever a Diablo player, you could definitely go through and create, mix and match, whatever you want. And sometimes you'll have a weekend event like this. So right now, it's plus 35% movement speed. So my character, this character moves pretty fast. But with this, this thing, I mean, look at him. He's, he's a freaking track star. I got Usain Bolt in my character right now. Um, and again, with, with all the different skills you can get. Yeah, see, there's Fast Learner. I haven't gotten it because I already... This is the last one. I'll buy it. If I can go up to level 50, guess what's getting clicked on. So, if we can go back to level 50 again, this guy needs some more EXP buff. So, hopefully that answered your question there, Jayloom. Um, and yeah, again, just if you want to see how much I level characters, so there's my first one. That's the one I was showing you earlier. 25 and 3. 30 plus 5. Right, oh, so, okay. Breaking it down again. My melee character, she's 25 right now. I just got her that uh, prestige three. My submachine gun main is uh, 30 level 30 uh, prestige five. Rachel Foley, she's my shotgun character, 25 uh, prestige three. Uh, Asian T1000, um, he is uh, level 25 prestige four. He's my pistol main, but all my characters always be packing the backup uh, submachine gun weapon. <coughs> Uh, Crying Wolf is my sniper main, uh, level 25, prestige 3. And then these were supposed to be characters for my open world. And he, I was going to make him, because uh, remember, uh, open world was supposed to be a different type where you couldn't use any of the uh, new characters, or, or existing characters, but, you know, he made it work. So, <laughs> the reason he's Angelo Keck is because he's supposed to be Angelo Kick, you know, so it was play on words. But anyway... There you go, guys. That was the video on my overall skill breakdown, so hopefully that helped you out. And uh, my lobby I always create and make, although, of course, it's the first day, so um, semi-noob zone. You ever see that? That is a Angelo-made lobby. And go ahead, pop on in. you have any questions, you can ask me on my stream or in the lobby. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys out there.